It looks like this man is turning into a human bee. But this isn't a scene from a horror movie. He's just bee bearding. Why are people putting bees on their faces? Does it hurt? And why is it a sign of a healthy colony? This mesmerizing cluster of bees is demonstrating something known as bearding. And, well, I don't need to explain the reason behind the name. It looks like a beard. It's something that has evolved from bees naturally bearding to people now joining in on the fun. It's often done to help move colonies between hives, but some adventure seekers do it for competition and the thrill of it. Yeah, you can count me out right there. So how does one go about bee bearding? Well, it all comes down to the queen bee. She gives off powerful pheromones that her drones are attracted to. They're brainwashed by her chemicals, so they go wherever she goes. Before someone can wear a bee beard, the colony is left to calm down in a temporary holding box. Then the queen is placed in a plastic vial, which is chained around the person's neck. The bees are released, and voila! The beard will begin to take shape. The feeling of bee bearding has been described as like a faint tickle on the skin. It can initially be nerve-wracking, can't imagine why, but with the bees in place, it feels warm, apparently. The buzzing can also be quite calming, kind of like a live ASMR. Now it's time to get those bees off, and there are two ways it can be done. The first option is to jump up and let the bees drop off themselves. As the person slowly moves backward and forward, white smoke is sprayed on them to subdue the bees until the queen is removed. The second option is to carefully vacuum off the bees, minus any sudden movements. Despite how crazy this sounds, people get very competitive when it comes to bee beards. You might also come across a giant mass of bees that aren't on someone's face, like in this clip. It may look menacing, but this is normal and healthy behavior for a colony. Don't worry if you come across one. It's not a sign of impending doom. My dog stepped on a bee. Unless you're allergic, and then it might be. Bees will gather outside the hive because they need a bit more space or to cool down. Overheating is a serious issue and can result in entire colonies being wiped out without bearding. But it's still not recommended to go poking them with a stick. Wise advice. All jokes and competitions aside, bees are vital to the natural stability of ecosystems. They may be the most crucial creature to the well-being of our planet. In North America alone, 90 crop varieties rely on bees to survive. Globally, they pollinate 35% of the planet's food crops. Foods like nuts and fruit all start with pollination. Many animals also rely indirectly on bees to survive. So next time you see a bee, don't assume it wants to sting you. Maybe say a small thank you instead. Thank you. Talking about extremes in the insect world, why not check out our episode on termites and why they lick their queens to death? The reason why will blow your mind. Flocking to their queen by the thousands and cooling down by bearding. That's what bees do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.